my name's Arlene and this time I'm going to be showing you how to do reverse percentages which is part of the National 5 curriculum as well as the GCSE curriculum. So what we have here is we have an example. A packet of sweets contain 25% extra free. So you've probably seen that when you buy a packet of something it'll say on the side a percentage extra free. So these sweets have 25% extra free and they now contain 137.5 grams. How much did they contain originally? So what you need to think about is what percentage do we have now? So if there's 25% extra free, the full thing, the original, the original pack of sweets would be 100%. Now because we've got 25% extra free, we've got 125%. So 125% equals 137.5 grams. And the bit we're trying to get ultimately is 100%. We want to know what the cost was before this was added on. So the best way to do this is to get 1%. So to get 1%, basically I'm just going to divide through by 125. 1% is equal to 137.5 divided by 125. And when I work this out on a calculator, which you would need to do, 1% is 1.1. So we know what 1% is. To get the full thing, we just times this by 100. 100% 110 grams There's our final answer So now what we're going to do is we're going to try another one It's worded slightly differently Okay, so this time I've got a handbag in the sale And the bag costs £16 This is after a 20% discount and what I want to know is how much was the bag originally. So once again, what I need to think about is what percentage do we have now? So the full price, the whole thing, the normal price is 100%, but we've had a 20% discount. So basically it's like 100 take away 20, so we've got 80%. And that's £16. 80% is £16. So again what we want to do is we want to get 100% and we can get 1% just by dividing through by 80. Now some people might look for the calculator for this type of question but this is one that could quite often be asked in a non-calculator question. So what you have to do is look at simplifying this fraction. So we've got 16 over 80. Both of these numbers divide by 8. So what we've got in the top there is £2 divided by £10, which is basically one fifth. Or as a decimal, 0 0.2. So 1% is 0 0.2. If we want to know what the full thing is, we need to times that by 100. So 100% is 0 0.2 times 100, which is simply £20. So this is the type of question, again, you can get without out with a calculator question. I'm going to show you one more, another example, and that should give us everything we need to know for reverse percentages. Okay, so this time I attend a football match. And at this football match, there are 42,000 fans. So that seems okay. I'm told that the stadium's only 70% full. So how many people can the stadium hold at full capacity? Well, once again, I've got to think, what percentage do we have now? Well, we're told here that it's 70% full. So we have 70%. 
So 70% equals, and there's 42,000 fans there. Now this is one of these questions where again, you'll probably need to use some of your arithmetic skills because this could quite easily come up in a non-calculator paper. Once again, I want to find 1%. So it's the usual story. We know what we've got. We then find 1% and then times it by 100 to get the full percent. So to get 1%, I have to divide through by 70. So we have 42,000 divide 70. And what I can do here is I realise that they can both divide by 10. So I'm going to score out a, a zero in both of them there. And then I think, how many sevens do I get in 42? I get six. So these two can kind of cancel out. And basically I'm going to be left with 600 on top. So 1% would be 600. So if I want to get 100%, as usual, I just times the 600 by 100 and I get 60,000. So there we go. So that's three different types of reverse percentage questions. I hope that's been helpful. Please like, please subscribe and please continue viewing. See you soon. Bye.